In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google AdWords contextual targeting tool. The contextual targeting tool enables you to create keyword lists quickly and easily. It also gives you a lot of other information such as where your ad might be placed in their content network. To use the contextual targeting tool, log into your AdWords account, click on the Tools and Analysis tab, and select Contextual Targeting Tool from the drop-down menu. It takes a moment or two to load. Then you want to enter your target keyword phrases into the search box. For this demonstration I'm going to assume we're advertising a site in the dog training niche so I'm going to enter the phrases dog training and puppy training. Then I want to click here on the advanced options link and it will show the locations and languages that you want to target. I'm going to keep it in English but I'm going to use the United States for this demonstration. Then just simply click here on the search button. I just minimize the advanced options tab there. There we go. And you'll notice that the tool comes up with some suggested ad groups. It has a suggested ad group name, the keywords, and your suggested bid. And the suggested bid is based on historical bids for ads that have been competitive on the sites where Google is likely to place your ad. Now there are three things that you can do with this information. Let's just scroll down a bit here. There we go. First of all, you can filter out words that you don't want. Now, for example, I don't want dog potty training, so I can check that checkbox there and click on remove and hey presto it's gone. Another thing that you can do is expand a suggested ad group. Let's just go back to the top here. What you do is click here on the green plus sign that's next to the suggested ad group name and you can see we have them down here now let's say that I don't want guard dog training techniques. I can select that and once again click here to remove it. And there you are. It's gone. And then just click here on undo ad group expansion to take it back to where it was before. And finally, you can customize the predicted site placements. What you do is click here on the row of green dots that are next to the suggested ad group name. And you see, and this shows all the pages that Google believes an ad from an ad group will appear on. And if you click on the little plus sign, you'll get the exact URL that this particular ad is likely to show on and if you click on expand all you'll get them for every single one and what you can do then is click the link and see the page for yourself now this feature is very useful because you can see which sites could bring in irrelevant clicks and you can then exclude them from your display network campaign and not waste your money and just click here to go back to results
and when you've customized Google suggestions what you do is simply click the little checkbox here next to the campaigns that you want or you can click up here to select all of them and unclick to deselect all of them so let's just select a few here and when that's done you want to click here on export to AdWords editor you'll be prompted to give it a campaign name but that's not compulsory click here on export and it will prompt you to download the CSV file to your computer so just click on OK there we go it's downloading to my computer now and there we go it's finished downloading so I can close this window and here it is opened on my computer now I can change the suggested maximum CPC bid and make any other changes that I want and when that's done I can save the file and upload it into my AdWords account and start the campaign running. So there you go, that's how you can use the Google AdWords contextual targeting tool.